Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Welcome back to Painting Watercolours with me, Colin. Hope you enjoy this one. This one's a picture of the Matterhorn. I've stretched the paper. This is 140 pound weight Bockingford extra rough paper and I dried off around the mountain lines whilst the paper was still wet as you can still see it's glistening and I added masking fluid just to keep the line clean the paper is still wet but once that is dry you just come back in and just add a thin film of water and this will stop your paper cockling should you apply the masking fluid when it's dry because as the masking fluid dries it shrinks this one's going to be a glorious two stage sunset sky for this mountain I think we'll set it in that backdrop a little stroke of Hansa yellow or cadmium yellow if you've got that then we're going to take some Naples yellow need a bigger brush Naples yellow so there's Naples yellow over here I'll give you a run round of the colours this is Naples yellow <coughs> pyrrole orange, naphthol red light red, burnt umber, pencil marine, neutral tint and a little bit of Hansa yellow or Kevin yellow pearl orange I'm just going to that's the colour I think yeah that's pearl orange with some natural red I want to bring in some nice shapes you'll have plenty of time to get this in streak it in Try to make this as interesting as I possibly can with the sky. I'm just drop in patches in. Strengthening up some areas and just playing with it a little bit. And show some marine. Very pale. Deeper on the top. These are all Turner's Artist watercolours. Pulling it about a little bit with some water on the brush. So you get some light edges, some dark edges, soft edges. Take some French ultramarine. I'm going to take it tiny bit of the naphthol red so also you won't even notice it there a tiny bit of the neutral tint I want to drop this in so I'm going to let that dry Okay, the first part of your sky is dry and you've got a lovely backdrop for the next stage. So I'm going to take some water into that just a little bit. I'm going to take some French ultramarine. I'm going to mix the colour up first. I get plenty of this, I think. Some naphthol red. I'm going to give it a slight violet tinge. Make sure it stays sort of a, a blue violet. That's a bit. Nice blue violet. Some neutral tint. Just to flatten it down, take it to a darker colour. And with some water, I'm going to re-wet the sky. Just that the colour has not lifted off the paper, which is that's what you're looking for it not to do. And I'm going to take some of this colour on this brush. What I want to do is bring some, and I'm going to check this for spread. I'm just dropping some areas in of cloud. and then we're going to leave that to dry okay your skies dried nice and I'm just re-wetting the whole well, not the whole of the mountain just the front side of it and I'm leaving this patch here dry because I want to put a different colour into that and I don't want it running 
together. I'm going to let this down because I don't want this to be too strong. I'm going to spread this out. It's just a case now of getting this on, but not too strong. It's all about getting the value right. these foothills here. Nah, just put that on. Then I'm going to let that dry. Okay, you've got the first set of shadows in and you can see the difference, I think, on camera between the light patches and the accidental dark patches or the dark patches and the accidental light patches, whichever way you want to look at that. Like I said, I wanted to do, <clears throat> keep this clean because I want a clear definition of these two sides of this mountain. So I'm gonna get some Naples yellow. I have wet this side. I'm gonna take some of this light red and try not to get this too strong. What we, you're after getting very subtle changes, uh, layering and blending. I might even drop a patch of naphthol red in. Soften this edge so it comes together and you can leave that to dry. Now that's, that. <clears throat> now that's dry. Mix up a little bit more of this. It's going to be a little bit darker and thicker. Then some marine, some natural red, blue violet once again. Little tint. And some to go on light and some to go on a little bit darker. Taking a fine detail brush for this. And we begin to put the crags in, just checking that it's a little bit water, something I do need. Just leave that there so I can take some paint off it. Excess paint off. this up a little bit, same upon some of this. Put 
darker bits in first while I'm on this track, I think. dry. I just strengthen the foreground up with the same mixture as the, the mountain colour and then just let that dry <clears throat> just to give it a bit more power and then with that I just added some burnt umber to that mixture I'm taking a flat brush and I want to put a mass of trees in and I'm going to do this very quickly with just this brush as you go along just soften some of the bottoms then just helps attach them to the ground and I'm just using the tips don't mind if some of them fuzz up it all adds to it just lines and lines of trees and I'm just going to cover the all of this and when I come when you come back you'll see it finished I'm coming out to this set of rocks and I'm going to just put some burnt umber in this will be the underwash just creating a few sort of patterns in this. I do want some of it, the light to show through, except some of the light red. Drop this in as well. I'm going to be glazing over this but this is just the, the underwash for it. I've got some Rinsels from Rain and Burn Humber mixed up before but I always carry it on the palette. I'm just going to gently put some rich lines in and things. Darken it up along the bottom. Light and dark patches, just slightly different colours. Now I'm going to take some of this once again. I'm going to put some trees on the top. Just using the tips of a flat brush. And then I want to bring them along the top. And I'm just going to allow this to run into the wash below. And it'll create its own little shadow, just adding little bits. And even if I just drop some in here, it doesn't matter. It's just an impression. I'm going to lie that board flat and let it dry. Now that that's dry, we're very close to finishing. I'm going to take some clean water and yeah, I'm going to re-wet it. Take some of the colour. And glaze this on it. into the trees some French from rain in there with some burnt umber to create a dark and I'm just gonna drop some dark lines and edges in If you enjoyed these videos please click the like button <clears throat> please feel free to leave a comment then I'm just going to leave that to dry okay your hills dry I was going to do a little bit more to it but then I stood back and thought no I think this is just nice as it is so what I'm going to do sign it at this point or if you've done this you can sign it put a mount around it and frame it hope you've enjoyed this one the Matterhorn please leave a comment all comments are welcome and I'll see you next time thank you very much